The next step for us to define our asset record is probably we should enter our meter for the asset. So in this case, what is a meter? A meter is a record where you can store the data regarding operational uh, data about the asset. For example, in this case, we have uh, a chart. So one of the operational parameters we want to record is the uh, uh, kilometer the chart have uh, covered. So in this case, we can add an odometer uh, for uh, the chart. So we can click a new row here and uh, add an odometer. Yeah. And we can enter our initial reading that we have with the current chart. So if it's an old chart and it has been running for some time, then we can enter a reading here. And we have to choose an average calculation method. This can be used to calculate the uh, uh, rate of increase of the uh, uh, reading. So we, it can be used to forecast our maintenance schedule. So in this case, I'm going to choose sliding, sliding days and I'm going to choose a window size of 30 days. And rollover is the uh, uh, number where the meter will be uh, uh, start over. For example, uh, if it has only 9 digits, then uh, if we enter, uh, uh, if the meter reading is already 999, and if we enter zero, it means an increment of one instead of going back to zero. Yeah, so basically we have uh, added a, an autometer uh, to uh, record the uh, reading of this asset. And then we can enter some specification as well. So basically uh, with this tab, we can record the technical specification uh, of the equipment or the asset. And before we can do that, then first of all, we have to classify the asset first. So we can do that by click on this button and to classify. So in the system, in this case, we have some classify classification defined. We can use them. Uh, this is just a demo data, so it uh, doesn't have everything. Um, but then I will uh, just uh, choose uh, some example so you understand how uh, it works. So basically, let's say if I'm saying that this asset is a bearing, then uh, a list of technical specification attributes will come up for us to enter the data. But if we choose a different class, then uh, we will have a different set of attributes that we can enter. Let's say if we say this is an, a vehicle, then we have a different set of attributes and then we can enter the technical spec of this asset. So in this case, let's call it ESO. Uh, and maybe it, uh, you need a measure a gallon and then fuel cap. Maybe we have to enter maybe 200 gallons, for example. Yeah, so that's how we enter some uh, technical specification for an asset. Right, so before we move on with other concepts, so technical specification can be associated with asset, a location, a spare part, items, or can be associated to any other uh, documentation records like uh, purchase order, work order. So we can classify them and we can enter a different set of attributes that depends on the classification of the record.